And so in 2016, we started a Restaurant Week platform that allowed us to showcase restaurants from the diaspora. What started off just as a Restaurant Week evolved into an opportunity to really showcase the food and beverage industry as a whole. Maker Smart strives to be an active participant to impact the communities in which we serve. I noticed Black Restaurant Week doing a lot of great things in their local community, and I really wanted to take that talent and elevate it to the national level. We are now able to host a national bartending competition. Being able to put these individuals on a platform such as Black Restaurant Week and the many facets that we do, especially with partnerships like Maker's Mark, to be able to give these bartenders the opportunity that they rightfully deserve. There's a lot of adversity in the mixology world. It's definitely going to shine a light on a lot of people. You could actually have a platform where your expertise is shown and appreciated. And then you get to come to places like this where everyone is immersed in the alcohol and beverage industry. It's very important for Maker's Mark to partner with Black Restaurant Week or companies like that that are food and culture and cocktail forward that they do tap into the culture. We tell our sponsors, our corporate partners, we're not about logo placement. As much as they quiz us, we quiz them. What else can you do? How can we dig deeper? Um, we don't just want a bunch of banners at our events. Like, what are you really going to provide as an experience for our community? You know, Maker Smart really wants to be intentional and active and not just talk to talk. And so we were really purposeful over the past couple of years in being very specific about the type of partnerships that we engage with and just ensuring that we're truly making impact. That's why with many of our partnerships, they're longstanding. We really want to have a year over year impact into the communities. And that goes from attracting the multicultural consumers, attracting the bartenders, making sure we understand their needs and making sure they understand our brand. There's just never been a platform for the black culinary industry. And so I think a lot of times people assume that we're not interested and the reality is we just never had anywhere to shine. We've never had businesses, corporations invest in our community on that level. Uh, when we work with Black Restaurant Week, the restaurant, it's the first time they've done press. Sometimes it's the first time they've done an activation with a company. That power, that branding, that quality that the company offers, it really does just help create a whole new level of excitement within the industry. Black Restaurant Week was really trying to also think through how they could support the communities. And so when they brought up the idea of the Feed the Soul Foundation, it was just like a target, right? A perfect target, a perfect win for us because we already had that existing relationship with Black Restaurant Week. It picks up where Black Restaurant Week leads off, where it's more about marketing. Feed the Soul is really about business development. We provide them grants of $10,000, a six-month uh, business development consultation where they're learning everything about finance, marketing, franchising, things that are really going to uh, develop them, invest in their business so that they could be sustainable in their community for years to come. We're also starting a scholarship program for up-and-coming uh, chefs and, and culinary students. I'm really glad that they had that measure to say, you know, dream bigger. And if you meet us as a team, you know, that's all we need. <laughs> like, we could go as far out the box as you, as you let us. And so, um, since then, it's been a really beautiful endeavor.